We're stopping by the Paradox section here of Gamescom to find out a little bit more about uh, a game that's been a great success this year, City Skyline, and what's going to happen in the future with it, both in both for everyone and as a, as a paid DLC. City Skyline After Dark, obviously the big feature is the day and night cycle. How does that change the gameplay? The day and night cycle, um, it's not only visual. So we actually have uh, the city reacting to the time of day. So during the night it's a bit slower, there is less traffic on the streets and the citizens don't want to uh, leave their homes as much because they don't go to work or shopping, the shops are closed naturally. So kind of a quiet time when the uh, locations that the citizens want to visit are kind of different. So uh, this is where the leisure specialization comes in. Because of course you have to have night life if you have night. So we have uh, casinos and nightclubs coming that have awesome neon signs. Mm -hmm. And this is the place where all the citizens want to be during the night. It's very interesting because it seems like a lot of the things that you worked on now is like direct responses to how people play the game. You're, you're adding sort of um, double um, uh, uh, buildings that okay. have dual features and, and, and a lot of those things. Can you tell us a little bit how, how those came to be? Mm. Well, um, what we only wanted to do in the expansion is to um, give the players who have spent a lot of time with the game some new ways of doing stuff. Because what we were seeing were like uh, if someone had a huge bus network, they had trouble kind of having the changing points for the buses where the, all the lines meet. So we made um, this uh, bus station that allows many buses uh, to stop at the same time. So all of the lines can meet and the citizens can actually change lines inside the building. So they don't have to go outside and cross the street and stop the traffic while doing it. So kind of having these uh, smoother transitions and more efficient ways of doing stuff. And um, the other dual function buildings are also made so that you can actually kind of um, uh, the things that players want to do in the same spot, we will allow them to do it more efficiently now. And this is also for the modding, so because they have had no tools to actually make buildings that have two functions, and now they will have. So I'm excited to see what they come up with. Mm. And you, you're allowing that them to sort of design that freely with any two uh, functions then? Um, we haven't really tested it yet, but as uh, what I have seen the modders do, so I'm fairly certain that they will be able to choose what functions they want for the buildings. A couple of other things that perhaps aren't uh, completely related to day and night is you're adding bikes and beaches or sort of, uh, sort of waterfront uh, specialization. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. So. Um, we only wanted to uh, have much uh, visual variation, so kind of more ways to make the city look like the city of your dreams or the one you are actually wanting to be at. So um, the waterfront specialization kind of plays into this because uh, previously you couldn't really uh, finish the waterfront nicely, so it looked kind of kind of unfinished. So most people had their um, like the city's uh, center areas on land, but allowing them to actually use the waterfront nicely and giving some bonuses for, for the buildings that are next to water. I think it will guide the players to having more of the type of cities that are actually built next to a river or kind of with good water connections. And it also allows us to actually use the water for something that's happening there, like ships and, and jet skis and all of this. So it, it makes the game feel more alive. And the bikes are kind of also playing into this, so they look nice, the city is more alive, and then they also uh, help with the amount of vehicles on the streets. So as some of the people are not taking cars, they will ride a bike and not be on the street blocking anything, so it makes um, helps out with the traffic intensity and at the same time makes the city feel more alive. So uh, I got to ask you, wrapping up here, uh, uh, what's it been like to have sort of the, the tremendous success that City Skylines had? had? What, what kind of effect has it had on, on you and the, and the studio? Um, well, it has had an effect, but I think the best thing to have happened is that we have a really active community and they actually they want to talk to us and we want to talk to them. So um, 
having so many players makes it easier to actually find valid information on what the players want to do and, and what kind of things um, they need in the game. And the whole modding community is absolutely awesome because um, we have such a small team, we can't do that much content. So having people kind of help out and it's a way to play the game also, to create something. And then sharing it is so easy that um, if we would have a less of a success and less players, then there would be less content and less talk about how the game should be. So it's it's been great for us to have so many people interested. Mm-hmm. And that I, I guess that's also guiding sort of what kind of updates and, and expansions you're planning, that yeah. it's m- mainly f- feature and mechanics, not so much content. Yeah, yeah because uh, players, they can make such awesome content. We don't really have to do anything. We just want to give them tools to create uh, more freely uh, different kinds of content and giving these uh, things that they can't uh, do with the current tools. Like I know that there are a few mods about the day and night cycle even now, but since the the buildings didn't have the texture layer to actually react to the, um, or light up as they should, they didn't look really nice. And for one modder to actually go through all of the buildings in the game and add texture maps, that's a bit too much work. So now we have made the system and they can make uh, day and night versions of all of the buildings they want and I'm expecting awesome results. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.